All right, comic book stuff. Uh, Dear Billy Unbreakable, we all know how you hate Comic-Con stuff. I Actually, I don't. I don't. It, it's just they're an easy target, and I'm lazy. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, 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 although I recently watched some reality. I was on a plane, right? I was on the plane, the plane. And uh, there was some show, and there was just these guys standing around in... Um, Oh, what the fuck? It's a comic book store out here. And I started to watch it and they were all doing that fucking, if this comic guy, comic book guy fought that comic book guy. And I can't, I can't sit through that, but I can sit through, dude, who is better, Gretzky or Lemieux? Uh, I'm telling you, if Lemieux didn't have those years off, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking stay in that forever. Um, but, you know, I, I, I can't get into comic book shit as much as, you know, I liked the superheroes when I was growing up. But then, you know, I, I got older and I, uh, I grew up. All right, superhero movies and Loot Crate. I don't hate that shit. I just like making fun of it. He said, you've mentioned in the past, the only superhero you liked was Luke Cage, a.k.a. Power Man. No, I like Spider-Man too. Captain America, Iron Man. Batman was cool. More the comic book. On TV was, you know, I liked that show when I was younger, but then it was just sort of silly, too campy for me. Um, I liked the, the Heath Ledger, Batman. And I love that Christian Bale, you know, even if everybody made fun of his voice, it, it fucking made sense that he would change the sound of his fucking voice. You know, you guys know what my voice sounded like. If I had a three quarter fucking mask on and I just started talking to you, you'd be like, dude, what the fuck's with the mask, Bill? You know? Anyways, uh, well, you're should be, you should be excited to know he has his own Netflix series now. Get the fuck out of here. Luke Cage does. It's super popular and getting attention. Not just because it's great, but also because it's topical. It knowingly acknowledges the significance of a bulletproof African-American wearing a hoodie. Uh, through the series, Luke engages with police officers who shoot him and leave holes in his hoodies. The police often interrogate and harass black people in Harlem who have done nothing wrong. Oh, I got to watch that. He goes, my questions are, do you still like Luke Cage? Will you watch the series? Yes, yes. Do you think it's good to acknowledge Trayvon Martin and the Black Lives Matter movement in this way? Yeah, why not? When you watch those fucking, those Pixar movies, they talk about global warming. You know, they had the ant thing and they go, you know, one ant's not tough, but you got to, if all the ants start moving... They could take us over. That was all about like the fucking Bilderberg people. If they can do all of that shit, why can't they bring up that stuff? I love it. Is that, is that a good way to acknowledge this? First of all, who the fuck am I to say that? That's not an issue that, that, uh, that has made my life like, uh, I don't have to worry about my life. You know what I mean? So I would ask, why don't you ask black people that? <laughs> do you think it's good to acknowledge Anyways, love your podcast and your stand-up. Uh, greetings from Ontario. Um, yeah, I'm just like, that's, I mean, I like when, uh, I like, um, as much as I, I've sh- I like Superman versus Batman, all right? I like when they do the comic book stuff, and as much as, like, you know, the people can fly, and they're fucking the size of an ant and shit like that, the more reality that they bring into it, the more grounded that they keep it, the more I like it. And I know Superman versus fucking Batman. They're like, Jesus, how many people did they fucking kill? That never entered my mind. I didn't give a shit. They're like, they did billions of dollars worth of damage. Who gives a fuck? My favorite thing was they were saying that superhero can't, they can't be out there acting unilaterally. Like they didn't like that Superman was going around just helping everybody. Regardless of, uh, you know, whether they would trade with the United States or not. And I just love that the United States felt that they could claim Superman. It was fucked up. I guess he got adopted by United States parents and he did get a free education. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? You know what? I stand by the American government on that one. Um, No, but the more that they can bring in like the, uh, just the real world reality, I I think that that shit's great. And the dark, I mean, in the comic books, it isn't always like dark, depressing, they're fucking loners like i never liked the x-man thing it just sounded like a bunch of whiny teenagers to me they didn't go dark enough or make it adult enough it was probably for teenage kids who's kidding who um it probably wasn't for a fucking bald 48 year old male (laughs) we gotta get these guys these this is our demographic these are the guys that are gonna buy all the fucking swag um 
I actually, uh, when I was a kid, I read comic books and I really liked the drawings and the different ways that they would go about it. And when, when, you know, sometimes they take up a whole page and they draw something or they'd have like three of the squares would all like a bullet got shot and they just show where it went and stuff. Like, I really liked it. And I thought it was incredibly talented in that thing, but I, I stopped short of, uh, like dressing up like them and having like a fucking lightsaber fight. You know what I mean? Um, I guess that's where you lose me. And, you know, to be honest with you, uh, what I'm doing is what a lot of people do is I'm, I'm taking like, you know, most golf fans are not like those fucking animals at the Ryder Cup screaming and yelling like a bunch of fucking lunatics. You know what I mean? A lot of them are, uh, you know, you know, uh, they, you know, I went to the Masters. People, the people were fucking cool. But it's just, it's just fun to make fun of them, I guess. Jesus, Bill, did you retract everything that you've ever said about it? Uh, sort of. I don't, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a better fucking person, man. I, I got to stop. Like, I just that the word cunt and all this stuff that like, just flies out of me in, in public and it's getting worse. And, uh, you know, it's gotten to the point where now it actually, for the first time in my life, like embarrasses me. So I'm, I'm trying to see the other side of that. And I know people are like, well, then you're not going to be funny anymore. I just, believe me, I will fuck up plenty in my life. I don't need to be screaming cunt when there's children around in a fucking airport. Uh, 